uh, in the vis this video I'm gonna show you the code uh, about the re request mapping, get mapping, post mapping, how to use them. So first I'm gonna create a how about uh, create a JSP? Like uh, let's talk about uh, sign up. How about that? Okay. So we create a JSP file called uh, sign uh, sign up form. Dot JSP, and uh, we give a sign up form. And now here I will create a basic form. How about that? Okay. Basic form page uh, form. And then I'm gonna give a one, like give a paragraph, and give first name, and give input. Okay, and name is equals first name. Okay, and I just add one more, which is a last name. I give a last name. And here I wrote last name. Okay, last name. And here I give an action. Action will go to our uh, sign up. Sign up the URL. And now I give a method. Suppose go to using the post. Okay. And then I'll have a submit button. Input type is submit. And I give a value because different browser will give default value for this button. Okay, so I give sign up. Okay, uh, that's it. And now I'm gonna create a class which is uh, let's using sign up controller. How about that? Okay, sign up controller. And the first thing I'm gonna annotate with the controller to make sure our uh, Spring gonna instantiate and uh, maintain the life cycle of this object for us. So I'm gonna have our first method, which is to display this sign up form. Okay, uh, display uh, get sign up form. And I just need to return the page's name. Okay, sign up. Don't make mistakes here. And uh, otherwise, it's gonna be have a 404 error. And for this one, how about I have a request mapping here? And uh, the URL I will call is uh, sign up. Got it? Now, I have to handle when we submit the form, I have to handle. The same I have to handle for this uh, URL, right? And it's a post. The problem is here. The problem is, see, take a look at this one is for self, uh, self uh, user. How about that? The problem now is, see, this one is a get request. And this one is a post request. And for your post request, you're using the same URL as your get. For this case, if you deploy your application, you will get an ambiguous the URL routing error exception. Okay. And how to solve the problem is you can add a value to that. This value actually you accept an array. Okay, and you have a method. And you give a request method equals okay, equals get okay, and here you do the another thing is value equals, and you give another method equals request method dot not delete post. So by adding the extra attribute method, you achieved different methods have the same URL. You use the same URL, but they serve for different method. And uh, let me do some a little bit of other things here. Yes, I have a HTTP servlet, S E R V L uh, okay. 
how about we just go to the result page but now I don't do anything okay now I have a result GSP result GSP and here will be sign up successfully okay and here we have one page which is H1 and I will say congrats you sign up successfully okay so this is the first usage and let me run and see if everything works it's gonna be take a little bit of time and uh, we're gonna wait for it to start up Okay, now let me switch to uh, the browser to show you the behavior. Chrome. Okay. Uh, so now I'm on Chrome. And uh, to access our page, you have to using sign up. Right? And uh, here you can see it has the first name, last name, which is our sign up page. Suppose I wrote my first name, I wrote my last name, and I click sign up. This is gonna issue a post request and it will redirect to our congratulations, you sign up successfully, which is the result page. Okay, so everything works, and we're using the same URL for both get request and the post request. So the next one, I'm gonna switch back to our IDE. Now the next next one is suppose here is a git and uh, as a human we don't want to add this long re remember this long signature and uh, in since uh, spring 4.3 the version if i remember correctly okay they add a new annotation called a git mapping and you just put the URL here. Sign up. Okay. And if you are using post, then you just add a post mapping. And slash sign up. They are identical. It's gonna work, okay? And one more thing I want to show you about the request mapping is Let's take a look at the request mapping annotation. I'm going to add it here. Okay, let me add uh, here. And work. So let me take show you the request mapping. You can see request mapping, the target, it has a type and a method. Type means this request mapping annotation can be applied on the class. And method means this request mapping annotation can annotate the method. And let me show you get a mapping, post mapping the same, okay? You can see get a mapping annotation, the target only can be applied on the method. You cannot use request mapping on the class. So what's the usage of request mapping? Since we have get mapping and post mapping, delete mapping, put mapping, so why do I still have the request mapping kept in our in the framework? So the difference, the usage is like this way. Request, okay, request mapping. Suppose you have a multiple controllers, like this one is for the user, and suppose now I call this one to call. Um, call this one called self and later on you have another controller called the product controller okay in the product controller you also has a method
P R O D U C T. Okay. You also has a method, and this method it's also for sell the product, and you using sell. Okay. Now I return. Uh, let me return. Uh, just return welcome dot JSP. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. So now you have conflict because you, in this method you have the URL self and in your controller, uh, in your sign up controller, you also has the method which you annotated with self. Both of them have the same URL, so it doesn't work. And uh, request mapping helps you to have a context. So you have a context here. In order to access this method, you have to using use slash user slash self and now on the product you can have a request mapping and here using product so to access this product method you have to using slash product slash self so in this case you have kind of like you have a root in each controller for every method inside this controller you have an offset so it can save the namespace, like uh, all the URL names, because mostly you will have uh, CRUD operations for every domain model. So that's why we still have the request mapping available in uh, Spring 5, okay? And uh, for each method, you can use in get mapping, post mapping, and uh, to reuse the same URL instead of writing the long, very long URLs, okay? Another one is, if you take a request mapping, the value, it accept an array, which means you can have a multiple URL. Yeah. Slash user. And you can have another one, like a slash sign up, if you want. And you can give a value, which means this uh, uh, value is assigned to this attribute or this method, okay? The same thing for the get mapping and post mapping. If you want to have a multiple URL ma map to this method, you can add the breadth, add, add the breadth, and inside the breadth, you can give all the values you want, okay? Like this one, and separate them with uh, comma. And that's a use age with request mapping, get mapping, and post mapping. If you uh, if you are writing for the rest of rest of controller, then you can also using put mapping, delete mapping. Um, thank you for watching this video, and uh, see you in my next video.